Go guard. Attention. Audience, please rise. Scout salute. Color guard, advance. Color guard, halt. Color guard, prepare to post the colors. Color guard, post the colors. Please join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two. Color guard, reform. Color guard, about face. Color guard, advance. Color guard, halt. Color guard, dismiss. Audience, please be seated. Good morning. Scouts, scouters, and friends of scouting. I would like to welcome you on behalf of the Duran family and Troop 9 to this Eagle Court of Honor. My name is Ian Krause, and I will be your Master of Ceremonies for today. This is an occasion for pride and joy, as well as a time for serious reflection. Many scouts set, on, set out on the trail to Eagle, but few have the perseverance to follow to the end. The Eagle is the highest recognition that scouting offers to scouts. It is earned through the advancement program, and only a small percentage of boys who begin in scouting receive this honor. The wearer of the Eagle Award is the epitome of scouting's best efforts and beliefs. This morning, we have the pleasure of seeing scouts Carlos Duran and Damian Duran reach the peak of their scouting efforts when they join the company of Eagle Scouts. Before we begin, I would like to ask Pastor Reverend Jim Flagg to please deliver the invocation. Let us pray. Gracious and holy God, we thank you for this special day in the life of both Carlos and Damien Duran. Today we celebrate the cumulative efforts of these young men who have made so much progress over the years, advancing and scouting from one rank to the other. We think of all the merit badges they've earned along the way, the oaths they've learned, the character that they have developed, and the service that they've given to our community and their fellow scouts. Little by little, oh God, month by month and year by year, they have been faithful. And today we celebrate this marker of faith, faith and hard work. So we ask you, O oh Lord, to bless Carlos and Damien, their families who have supported and encouraged them, and we ask your blessing to fall upon their fellow scouts whose fellowship they've enjoyed during this, this path to where they are today. We thank you for the scout leaders who have given much of their energy and their time to help develop these young men. Bless them with the certainty that their work has influenced the course of many lives, and we all benefit because of their sacrifice and leadership. And so, holy God, we pray that you would bless this celebration with your presence as we rejoice with the Duran family. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The presentation of the Eagle Scout Award is an important and serious matter. The attainment of this award is made possible by the assistance of those of the candidates today. His Scoutmasters, 
troop leaders, fellow scouts, parents, family, friends, and members of the community. Carlos and Damien have distinguished themselves through their continued performance of active, active service in scouting. They themselves, they have trained and practiced in their leadership abilities. They are marked by the character gained through an understanding of both their citizenship and religious beliefs. It is important that each one of us understands the meaning of the Eagle Badge. The appeal of the Majestic Eagle has been felt by every great people from prehistoric times to the present day. To the Egyptians, the eagle was the messenger of the gods and the sun, a symbol of eternal life. To the Romans, he was the carrier of Jupiter's thunderbolts and a sign of power. To American Indians, he stood as the incentive to valor and the pledge of victory. For us today, the eagle is a living symbol of all courageous and freedom-aspiring Americans. When the Eagle Scout badge was designed in 1912, it was decided that a small silver eagle would be suspended from a tricolor ribbon of red, white, and blue, so it remains today. The foremost responsibility of an Eagle Scout is to live with honor. To an Eagle Scout, honor is the foundation of all character. He is known he knows that scout, a scout is trustworthy, and that is the very first point of the scout law for good reason. An Eagle Scout gives honorably, not because honor is important to him, but because of the vital significance of the example he sets for other scouts. Living honorably reflects credit on his home, his church, his troop, and his community. May the white of the Eagle Badge remind you to always live with honor. The second obligation of an Eagle Scout is worthy. Loyalty, sorry. A Scout is true to his family, Scout leaders, friends, school, and nation. His loyalty to his troop and brother Scouts makes him pitch, pitch in and carry his share of the load. All of these help to build the loyalty which means devotion to his com to community, to country, to one's own ideals, and to God. But the blue of the eagle badge always inspire your loyalty. The third obligation of an eagle scout is to be courageous. Courage has always been a quality by which men measure themselves and others. To a scout, bravery means not only the courage to face physical danger, but the determination to stand up for the right. Trusting in God with faith in his fellow man, he looks forward to each day, seeking his share of the world's work to do. Let the red of the Eagle Badge remind you always of courage. The fourth obligation of an Eagle Scout is to be cheerful. To remind an Eagle Scout is to always wear, to always wear a smile. The red, the white, and the blue ribbon are attached to the scroll of the second class award, which has its ends turned up in a smile. The final re responsibility of an Eagle Scout is service. The Eagle Scout extends a helping hand to those who still toil up scouting this trail. Just as others helped him on, in his climb to the eagle, to the eagle, the, the performance of a good turn of a daily good turn takes a new meaning when he enters a more adult life of continuing service to others. The eagle stands as a protector of the weak and helpless. He aids and comforts the unfortunate and the oppressed. He upholds the rights of others while defending his own. He will always be prepared 
to put forth his best. Carlos and Damien, you are deserving of much credit in having achieved Scouting's highest award. However, wear your award with humility, ever mindful that the Eagle Scout is looked up to as an example. May the Scout Oath and the Scout Law be your guide for tomorrow and onward. I now call on Mr. Jeff Drash, Charter Organization Representative, to officially convene this Court of Honor. Well, good morning. It's a pretty special day. By the authority vested in me by the Sam Houston Area Council, the National Council, the Boy Scouts of America, I declare this Court of Honor to be convened. The scouting movement constitutes one of the most wholesome and significant influences in the world today. Many successful, well-known persons are Eagle Scouts. The former President of the United States, film director whose films have won worldwide acclaim, most of the original astronauts, and several outstanding sports personalities. The Eagle candidates whose efforts culminate this evening in the presentation of the Eagle Badge have labored long to enter this brotherhood. When he pledges, or when they pledge themselves on his, their sacred honor, this is something new, we have a multiple Eagle today, so this is a big deal for us. So when they pledge themselves on his sacred honor, it will be sealing their loyalty to the code of the Eagle Scout with the words which close the Declaration of Independence. Before we proceed, I've got adult leaders Mr. Rex Inman and Mr. Tony Krause would like to reflect on Carlos and Damien's scouting experiences. Good morning, everyone. I ran into Carlos and Damien first before they were even Cub Scouts. They wore the little light blue Me Too shirts at the Ten Commandment walks as we wandered around through Kingwood at all the different churches that earned the different points of the Ten Commandments. And then when I was in uh, uh, Pack 1454, they were Scouts there until I happened to leave. Uh, the one experience I remember from uh, all of that one major experience was I think their very first camping trip. Uh, we would go out on Friday night, spend all day Saturday and then leave Sunday. The very first trip they got to the campsite about nine o'clock when it was way dark. Uh, they happened to have a brand new tent, never been out of the box. Uh, they had never set it up and there were four or five of us in the dark trying to figure out how do we set this tent up with uh, you hold the flashlight, I'll do this and see if this will work. We eventually got it up and I think that was the last time they ever used that tent. I think, <laughs> I think they got one that was a little easier to set up and that they could do it in the dark by themselves. <clears throat> I didn't see much of them after that because I left the pack and then came over to Troop 9. Uh, but they eventually came into Troop 9 and uh, it was like seeing old friends again. They were actually grown up. They were twice as big as they were when they were little uh, five and six year olds. Uh, I've had them in a couple of different merit badge classes, I believe citizenship in the uh, uh, nation, and then and a plumbing merit badge, which uh, the, the one year I helped with that, uh, we got to uh, learn how do you uh, glue PVC pipe together and how do you solder copper pipe together. I think they've given up on the solder, uh, soldering because hardly anybody uses copper anymore because it's too expensive and, and hard to use. But I've watched them grow from w way little to uh, almost adults, and it's been a great experience. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Rex. So, I met the Duran boys around the 2010 time frame. And we met them, not in Troop 9, but in Troop 384. You guys remember that? Remember? 
At the time, it was not Ian, but it was Stefan and I. And uh, if, if you want to kind of recall one of these campouts, I think at the time we were at Palmetto. Well, there's two of them over there by Luling, right? One, one, of those, one of those state parks, we were there. And uh, we had completed the morning activities, hiking, scout skills, something like that. And one of the boys picked up a football, right? Started tossing it around. And within minutes, I recall the whole troop participating, right? And it was a great game. And Mr. Rice and I were ultimately, we got thrown into the game, and we loved that as well. And we were kind of the designated quarterbacks, right? And uh, it, it wasn't a normal game. You know, and a lot of times these things last one or two series, and then we lose interest and kind of peel off. But this one didn't have that kind of energy, right? It was a... It was a game where we had offensive triumphs and defensive struggles and we were laughing. And I learned some things about the Duran boys during that game. I learned a sense of competition. I, I, I saw them be great teammates, encouraging each other. And I saw a love of the game. But there is a but. <laughs> There happens to be a big butt to this story, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> that in Scouts, we try to teach the boys how to make good decisions, right? We know that if we make a wrong decision somewhere in our life, we can head down the wrong trail. And I'm sorry to say one of the Duran boys has chosen the wrong trail. <laughs> Do you guys have any idea which Duran boy that might be? Why don't the three of you stand up? Come on. Come on up here. Just come on. All three of you right here. Turn the audience and we're going to see. You guys applaud when you think which one of the Duran boys have gone off the tray. This one? This one? Or this one? So Damien, you, you go over there to the dark side. <laughs> no, no, stand here, right there. And these two boys have been shining beacons. They have made a choice, a choice of black and gold versus a choice of blue and gray. <laughs> One of Steelers, versus cowboy. <laughs> so, you have one last opportunity to make the right choice. Come over. Don't, don't do it. Come over. <laughs> Come on. Should we let him have an eagle even though he's a cowboy fan? <laughs> Anyways, uh, we had a lot of fun. Uh, being from Pittsburgh and Steeler fan, it was fun to see a couple of guys from Texas being Steeler fans. I think even though you were a Cowboy fan, you were better than your brothers, right? <laughs> yeah, that guy. So, so shortly after that, uh, Stefan and I left 384. We came to Troop 9, and a couple years after that, the Durans came to Troop 9. Like Rex said, they had, they had grown quite a bit since I'd seen them last. Um, they're, they're, you know, they've grown in both maturity and obviously physical size, right? Um, the boys are quiet, right? They're very soft-spoken. Um, they're extremely respectful. These are the things that I think about when I think of the Duran boys. And they're a very strong family unit. And I think that's something to be proud of, and it's something to say for you, Lorena and Carlos. You should be proud of that as well. So the sense of family with you guys is very strong, and I would encourage you not to ever let that go, right? But I can, I can tell you that integrating into a new troop, as Stefan and I did, is not so easy when you come later in your, in your career. 
um, but they overcame that discomfort, particularly when you are quiet and shy. They overcame that and they accepted roles of leadership. You guys made new friends, right? And you've participated in many, many campouts and you guys really did a good job in the last couple of years. But I can tell you what's not quiet about the Duran boys and that's their actions, right? The Duran boys can always be counted on in times of service. I can't tell you how many times they were the first ones and always present when, need, when volunteers were needed. Uh, whether that be a seasonal event here at the church, whether that be some troop uh, activity or some court of honor. You guys have always been there supporting your fellow scouts in the community. And it's the actions not your words that speak to your eagle character, right? And for that, you guys are well deserving of your eagle award and continue to have your actions speak far louder than your soft words, okay? All right, congratulations, guys. That's okay, I'm a Cowboys fan too, so. It's all right. Okay, will the honor guard, Brandon East and John Kennedy, please escort before this court of honor Life Scouts Carlos Duran and Damian Duran. Well, they will be prepared to receive the Eagle Scout Award. Pretty good looking young man, right? So all along the trail of achievement, your scoutmasters have given you advice and encouragement. I call upon your scoutmaster, Jeff McFarland, to vouch for you tonight. He's out there, son. There he is. Mr. McFarland, before presenting your scout, the Eagle Award, we would like to have your assurance that Carlos Duran has been faithful in serving his troop and giving leadership to its scouts and practicing the principles of the scout oath and law and in practicing the good turn in his daily life based upon these qualifications. Mr. McFarland, is this scout entitled to the honor the Eagle Badge represents? Yes, sir, he is. All right, well, there's one. Mr. McFarland, we would also like to have your assurance that Damian Duran has been faithful in his service, the troop, giving leadership to its scouts, practicing the principles of the scout oath and law, and in practicing the good turn in his daily life Based upon these qualifications, Mr. McFarland, is this scout entitled to the honor of the Eagle Badge? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Well done. Well, before we continue, we would like to invite Carlos and Damien's brother, Alexis Duran, to join us on stage. Honor Guard, would you do the honors? Alexis earned his Eagle Scout Award in 2014, but with his troop, was never able to have an Eagle Court of Honor. So we'd like to recognize him here today, along with his brothers, during this Court of Honor. Eagle candidates, Carlos Duran, Damian Duran, Alexis Duran, what promise did you take when you became a Tenderfoot Scout? Hello, sir. Is there any reason why you should not all renew that promise now? There is not, sir. Then I ask you to now give the Scout Oath as you rededicate yourself to its principles. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country, to obey the Scout law, to help other people at all times, to keep myself mentally strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. Two. Very good. You have just recommitted yourself to the principles of the Scout Oath. You now have a new more intense obligation to your church, your community, and your troop. The knowledge you have gained in all areas of scouting will better enable you to be prepared for the future and its challenges. The scout motto of be prepared now takes on a special meaning. Eagle candidates Carlos, Damian, and Alexis Duran, it is now my pleasure to introduce Eagle Scout 
Mr. Mark Mills, to deliver to you the Eagle Charge. Carlos, Damian, and Alexis. Scouts of all nations make up one of the most wholesome and significant movements in this world's history. You have been judged by the Boy Scouts of America as being worthy of this honor. All who know you rejoice in this, your achievement. Your award, as you will know, is one of honor and responsibility. You are a marked man. As an Eagle Scout, you have assumed a solemn obligation to do your duty. This is a great undertaking. As you live up to your obligations, you will bring honor to yourself and your brother scouts. America has many good things to give you and your children after you, but these things depend on the most part on the quality of our citizens. Our country has had a great past and you can help the future be even greater. I charge you all to undertake your citizenship with solemn dedication. Be a leader, but lead only toward the best. Lift up every task you do and every office you hold to the highest level of service to God and to your fellow man. Live and serve so that those who know you will be inspired to find our living. I charge you to be among those who dedicate their hearts, their hands, their skills and abilities to the common good. Help to build America's future by continuing to set an example of clean living honest work, unselfish, unselfish citizenship, and reverence for God, whatever others may do. You will leave behind you a record which you may be justly proud. Eagle candidates, Carlos, Damian, and Alexis, I charge you to enter this Eagle Scout Brotherhood holding without reservation and ever before you the ideals of honor and service. By the repetition of the Eagle Scout promise before their fellow members, you will become an Eagle Scout. When you pledge yourself on your sacred honor, you will be sealing with your eternal loyalty to the code of the Eagle Scout with the same words which close the Declaration of Independence. Will all Eagle Scouts in the audience here today please stand and renew your Eagle Scout promise as Carlos, Damian, and Alexis join our brotherhood. Scout sign, gentlemen. Please repeat after me. I reaffirm my allegiance to the three promises of the Scout Oath. I thoughtfully recognize and take upon myself the obligations and responsibilities of an Eagle Scout. On my honor, I will do my best to make my training an example. And my status and my influence. Count strongly for better scouting and for better citizenship in my troop, in my community, and in my contacts with other people. To this I pledge my sacred honor. To. Please be seated. Carlos, Damian, Alexis, your conduct along the trail has been excellent. You have rededicated yourself to the principles of scouting. But one more thing is important. You will become an example in your community. Remember that your actions are now a little more conspicuous and people will expect more of you. To falter in your responsibility would reflect not only on you, but also to your fellow Eagles and all of scouting. The torch you carry is not yours, but it is also ours. Ian Cross. Life Scouts, Carlos, Alexis, and Damien, we are finally at the point you have been waiting for. Having confirmed all readiness for the reception of this award, it is now time to formally present this high badge of accomplishment. No words of this court of honor could do justice to the devotion and patient perseverance in which your Scoutmaster has helped you towards worthy manhood. Will Scoutmaster, Mr. Jeff McFarland, please step forward to preside over the presentation of the award.
Will the honor guard please escort Carlos, Alexis, and Damien's father to their side? Eagle candidates, your father has undoubtedly been a primary source of help in your scout work. He will help you carry the standard of your award to the highest peak of attainment, since the very best is expected of an Eagle Scout, an exemplary conduct, character, achievement, and leadership ability. I'm going to ask your father, who has stood by you loyally, to pledge his willingness to continue to help you. Mr. Duran, do you agree to continue to help Carlos, Alexis, and Damien so that they may grow in character and those leadership qualities that an eagle should have. I will. Then please present to your sons their Eagle Scout certificates. We've done two scouts, now we've done three scouts. I don't know that we could do four <laughs> scouts. <laughs> Reverend, we might, need the big, we might need the big room if we have to do four. If <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> In return, would you each please present your father with his Eagle Father's pin? Pretty impressive. <laughs> no one will ever know the unnumbered acts of self-sacrifice from your mother. She has undoubtedly been a great source of inspiration in your quest for the Eagle Award. I'm going to ask that she please rise and allow the honor guard to escort her to your side. Mrs. Duran, please present Carlos, Alexis, and Damien with their Eagle Award.
true. <laughs> In recognition of your mother's devotion, would you please each present her with her eagle mother's pin? Now I ask that the honor guard please oh, oh sorry. <laughs> My apologies. I guess I can't handle more than two. <laughs> Now, I ask that the honor guard please bring forward Miss Luz Gonzalez. Your aunt will now present you with the Eagle Scout neckerchief and Eagle Scout slide. Quite impressive indeed. It gives me great pleasure to present to you Troop 9's newest Eagle Scouts, Carlos Strand and Damien Strand, and also recognize Eagle Scout Alexis Duran.
We've heard a lot tonight about what it means to be an Eagle Scout. Now our honorees will have a chance to tell you a little bit about what becoming an Eagle Scout means to them. All right, well, let me take a quick breather, because I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> All, right. All right, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Carlos Duran, and uh, I would like to thank all of, we, all of you um, for coming this morning. Um, I'm very happy for this day to be here and receive my Eagle Scout Award. Um, I thought this day would never come. Uh, it has been very hard, but worth it. Um, when I think back now on my experiences as a scout, I'm surprised at everything I've been able to do. I would like to share one of my most memorable scouting experiences, um, which is um, rock climbing. I remember I was very nervous to try it because um, I did not trust the equipment. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really didn't trust the equipment. I mean, I, I thought I was going to break it. <laughs> and, and, um, but I'm glad to be here and to tell you that all things turn out just fine. Um, I'm very proud to be an Eagle Scout. To me, it means that with work, with hard work and dedication, I can accomplish um, any goal I set myself to complete. Um, now, I would like to thank my Scoutmaster, Mr. McFarlane, Mr. Krause, Mr. Mills, Troop 9 adult leaders, and my parents for all their help and support. And at this time, I would like to give my mentor pin to Mr. Krause and Mr. Mills for their guidance. Hi everyone, my name is Alexis. Not many people know who I am because I achieved my Eagle Scout with another troop before my brothers transferred here to Troop 9 and my troop never made me a code of honor. But I would like to share a learning experience that I have learned throughout my scouting years. My dad, my brothers and I went to summer camp at Camp Kiakima and I went, um, which is located in Arkansas. I was taking a class called COPE, which means Challenging Outdoor Personal Experience. There was about four other scouts, including me, from my troop and five other scouts from different troops. We had to climb up a course which was about 20 to 50 feet and then walk across for I don't remember how long and then zip line down. More, more than half of the class were afraid of heights, including me, and did not want to do the course, but with the encouragement and motivation from each other, we were able to complete the course. This, this experience taught me to push myself out of my comfort zone and do things I never thought I would be able to do. Being, being an Eco Scout means a lot to me. It means that once I start a mission or anything in life that I set myself to do, I'll be able to conquer and achieve it. Now at this time, I would like to thank Mr. Mills 
Mr. Cross, and Mr. and Ms. McFarland for welcoming me into the troop and for giving me the opportunity to have a court of honor. To all of you for being here this morning and a special thanks to my Aunt Lucy for joining us all the way from El Paso, Texas. Last but not least, to my mom and dad for always pushing me to do my best and not letting me quit the times I wanted to and for always being there for me. For this, I'm going to give my dad my mentor pin. Thanks, Dad, for always guiding me and being my best me mentor. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello. Hi. Well, my name is Damien, and I and I would also like to thank everyone for coming this morning. It's an honor for me to receive this highest rank in scouting. I have been looking forward to this day. I am excited to be an I'm excited to be an Eagle Scout. I would like to share one of my favorite moments with this troop. It was when we went zip landing. While I was climbing up the stairs, I was feeling nervous. The rope was high, and, and I'm afraid of heights, but I tried it anyway. I realized it wasn't so bad, and it turned out to be fun. I really enjoyed it and learned not to be afraid to try new things. What seemed scary could actually be fun. Being, being an Eagle Scout, to me, means learning, discipline, and hard work. It was not easy to reach this goal, but I learned that anything could be accomplished if you set your mind to it. I encourage every scout to keep doing what they're doing, believe in yourself, and never give up. Now I, will, now I would like to thank my scout masters, Mr. McFarlane, Mr. Krause, Mr. Mills, and Troop 9 adult leaders who helped me along the way on my trail to Eagle. My mom and my dad for helping me, for helping me and guiding me through the whole thing, because without them, I don't know where I would be without them. And to my Aunt Lucy, thank you for coming from my Paso, Texas to my Corps of Honor. And thank you very much for coming to my Corps of Honor. And, and giving me lots of, lots of support to my brothers as well. At this time, I have two mentor pins that I would like to give out. One is for Mr. McFarlane and the other is one for Mr. Mills. Thank you for your guidance.
At this time, I would like to introduce the Honorable Mayor of the City of Humble, Mr. Merle Aaron Sr., to read a proclamation. Awesome, isn't it? <laughs> Mom and Dad, job well done. Let me read one proclamation, but I have a proclamation for each one of you. And uh, it's my honor to do it. It gives me joy. I respect who you are because of all of your hard work. But let me read this. It's a proclamation to the citizens of Humble, Texas, whereas the Boy Scouts of America organized, the organization was founded in 1910 and first awarded the rank of Eagle Scout in 1912, whereas the Boy Scouts of America served as a vital force in the development of young boys and men to install in them the qualities of honor, loyalty, courage, and service. Whereas the, the attainment of the rank of Eagle Scout is a major life accomplishment for a young man that is only, only achieved through his own initiative, hard work, dedication, and without the aid and the support of his family, friends, troop members, and scout leaders, it would be possible. Whereas the Brotherhood of Eagle Scouts is composed of many leaders of the industry, government, and arts, with over two million having achieved this honorable award. Having completed the requirements for and having been examined by an Eagle Scout Board of Service, Carlos, Damien, and Alexis, a member of Boy Scout Troop 9 has attained Scouting's highest award, the rank of Eagle Scout. Now I, therefore, I, Merle D. Aaron, by the authority vested in me as the mayor of the city of Bumble, do hereby proclaim March 4th, 2017, as Carlos, Damien, and Alexis Duran Eagle Scout Day job well done. The City of Humble congratulates each one of you. Mr. Duran, Mr. Duran, Mr. Duran <laughs> on his achievements and wish him continued success in witness thereof I here unto set my hand and have caused the official seal of the City of Humble to be affixed, affixed this 17th day of January 2027 Merle D. Aaron. Thank each one of you guys. I have a proclamation for each one of you. Carlos, I looked to make sure I didn't have the wrong one. You're Carlos? Yes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you're Alexis. And that's this one. Congratulations. Damien, congratulations. What an honor it is for me to stand here and award you these proclamations. Very deserving. Thank you for all you've achieved. And I know that you're going to make this world better as you become citizens, adults, and you progress and do all the things that I know that you will do. Thank you. Our assistant scoutmaster, Mr. Tony Krauss, to present the United States of America flag and Texas flag, and many letters of congratulations. So, if we haven't figured it out, it's a pretty big deal to get the eagle right. <laughs> yes. So, so in addition to uh, all this recognition, the boys are gifted uh, U.S. and Texas state flags that were flown above our capitals. Uh, 
in addition to that, letters of, of recognition and congratulations from dignitaries, local, regional, and national. And we'll, we'll review some of those with you. So for example, the US flag, this is to certify the company flag was flown over the United States Capitol on February 13th, 2017, at the request of the Honorable Ted Poe, Member of Congress. This flag was flown in recognition of Carlos, Alexis, and Damian Duran. Also, the state of Texas, House of Representatives, this certifies that the Texas flag herewith presented to Carlos, Alexis, and Damien, Eagle Scout, Troop 9, Troop 9, Troop 384, by Dan Huberty, State Representative, District 127, was flown at the capital of the sovereign state of Texas in honor of earning the rank of Eagle Scout. In witness thereof and pursuant to the authority vested in me, I have hereunto set my hand and seal of the office of Austin, Texas, this 25th day of January, 2017. One more. Okay. So finally, let me read a couple of these letters. Congratulations. The State of Texas, Office of the Governor, to all to whom these present, this, these presents shall come. Greetings. Know ye that this certificate is presented to Carlos Duran in honor and recognition of attaining the rank of Eagle Scout. In testimony whereof I have hereunto signed my name and caused a sit the seal of the state of Texas to be affixed at the city of Austin this 18th day of January, Greg Abbott, Governor of Texas. Alexis, congratulations. You have demonstrated an exemplary commitment to personal excellence in achieving the rank of Eagle Scout. And we are delighted to join in commending you on this outstanding accomplishment. George and Barbara Bush. Damien, congratulations. I know you must be proud and happy to attain the rank of Eagle Scout. May the high goals and ideals that led to this special honor continue to inspire you in years ahead. Jimmy Carter. Dear Carlos, I am honored to join your fellow Boy Scouts in celebrating your Eagle Scout designation. Congratulations, John F. Carey, former Secretary of State. From the city of Houston, dear Alexis, congratulations, congratulations on receiving the Boy Scouts of America's most prestigious award, the rank of Eagle Scout. Sylvester Turner, Mayor of Houston. And the binder goes on and on and on. So each of the boys received one of these binders uh, in recognition of your attainment of Eagle Scouts. Congratulations, guys. Carlos, Alexis, and Damien, I congratulate you as Eagle Scouts. The Eagle soars high and seeks to rest only upon the lofty peaks. As an Eagle Scout, you too must soar high. You must not swerve from the path of duty. Your ideals must be lofty, 
You must strive to obtain that which is the highest and noblest in life. I hereby close this evil court of honor and present to you Eagle Scouts, Carlos Duran, Damian Duran, and Alexis Duran. Color guard, attention. Color guard. Four, forward, at. Color guard, advance. Color guard, halt. Color guard, prepare to retrieve the colors. Scout salute. Color guard, retrieve the colors. Color guard, reform. Color guard, advance. Color guard, halt. Color guard, dismiss. Please be seated. Please join us in the fellow reception in the fellowship hall. 